What's going on, people? Yende back again. Uh, finally back to <laughs> be able to do regular reviews. So um, today we're taking a look at the SA Trigger Arts Common Rider Zero Run Rising Hopper form or his base form. Um, so um, let me just say um, I'm kind of with Tokusatsu. Uh, I kind of understand that they. <laughs> they're really trying to. Their their main target is the is children, and man, the children of Japan. So, you know, I just watch the shows. Um, uh, I I I don't like what most of the stuff stuff they're doing. Uh, but this is uh, the first writer of the Re Re Rewa era. I'm not saying it right. Rewa era. Um, I do like this this uh, design. Um, some of the other other forms, that's kind of what I don't like. Is when we got every show is changing forms, and I wish they would go back to like the writer staying in this form for a while and then then upgrading. But he's been changing forms since like the second episode. So, but um, I am I did like that they went back to the grasshopper look. Uh, with this guy, um, so there are other writers from the show I want to get um, when they release them, but uh, this will probably be the one, only one I get of him of zero one. But uh, I do like this look. Um, it's like uh, it was with uh the uh, ultimate form of Kamen Rider Ichigo. Uh, the suit didn't look so, uh, was okay in, in the show. Once you got it in toy form, it makes you appreciate it more. That's what this guy, um, I always thought the green, I mean the yellow, I, I just thought it was, if, if it was a little bit more greener than the yellow. Um, that's the only thing I had to complain about. I wish it was, was greener, but getting them in hand is, it actually makes me like, like the design even more. And it makes me appreciate the yellow more. Having the toy in hand, the figure in hand, I'm not going to say toy, figure. Having the figure in hand makes me appreciate the suit design more. So, uh, so I'm going to get off of that. And so I you know where I'm coming from with Tokusatsu. So, you know, most of it is it's, they've done, gone to the gimmick stuff, like this, the gimmick doing all the gimmick stuff but uh you know the story they're telling is pretty is pretty interesting is just if we can get past all the gimmicky stuff and just watch it uh I'll follow it for the story it's been pretty interesting so uh <laughs> let me get done talking about that uh, let's get into size comparisons here uh I forgot somebody to uh bring in cap Marvel Legends uh Marine Mezco here. Add something new here. Bring in the McFarlane uh, All Might figure. And I'm going to do somebody else here. Gonna compare them. I have been getting some of these. Um, so I'm calling them by their Sentai names. I use that because I don't watch most of the. I don't watch the Ranger stuff, but get red buster here so uh, now you see those guys you can actually work these guys together since they they do basically do do crossovers every once in a while with Sentai and Kamen Rider so you can do that uh, take these guys out so bring in uh, the previous writer last writer of the Heisei era Bring these guys out. So, see that? Uh, the real uh, comparison. <laughs> uh, first writer of the Heisei era. 
Cougar. You see how he in the first run of the show era. In the first common right period, the originator, the OG. There would be no common writers, of course, if there were this guy, common writer each ago. So get him standing. So got these three together. I, I do hope they do something with these three. Some kind of movie where we get to see these three together. I hope they do. But you never know. Uh, I've been doing some weird movies with them with them lately, so. But uh that's it for the size comparison, so take those guys out and uh, accessories, uh, I'll talk about that another time though, but figure arts, I do wish they they give you more accessories, uh, price that we're some of us are paying, mainly for international shipping, you know, you could get more accessories, but uh, they've been getting a little bit light on the accessories, but it comes with hands, so it comes with, uh, uh, Four pairs of hands and, and one extra hand. So you got the two hand, open palm hands on them. Uh, it comes with two fist hands. And just got a fist, pair of fists. Uh, another pair of open hands that you. And he doesn't come with the weapon, so you got to get the, some of the other riders to get his weapons, which I don't like. So I wish they he he would have came with his sword at least. So I guess you can use this hand for the sword or or a trigger hand. It's almost like a pointing hand, but he has uh, another hand that's probably meant more for the sword or holding stuff and holding his uh, his gimmick, which I'll show in a minute too. You can hold it in this hand too. And he had the one extra hand is an actual pointing finger. There's just one of these for the right hand, one pointing actual pointing finger. So, so that's what the hands are coming with. And if you want to count the the gimmick, uh, the prog progress keys, I'm trying to say how they say it. It's basically progress key, but they say it progress key. But it's just, it's very small, but it pulls out right there. You can get a pretty good close up, but it's very small, so. I hope that's focusing. There we go. But I'm guessing the other other uh, other releases will come with more progress progress keys. Right there, I'm saying I think I'm saying it right because it's got two slots on right there that you can put those in. Um, does it even no? These don't even fold up. So I think because these actually on the show they fold up. So, but I don't think this one. I didn't try to hold it up there, but it does come out and slide back in. So. So that's this that is the driver there. So but uh you know you got your articulation there neck. Um only thing uh they still using the pull down method on, on these ones. I do wish they would just use the renewal bodies standard for riders, but it's not as bad as the old one. So this is a newer pull down method because he still has the uh kind of that Street Fighter fighter body uh, articulation right there, but um, it does. It's not as uh, I think this one's a little bit better to pull down after it. Uh, only thing I do have my the uh, thigh swivel on my right leg is a, a little bit looser than the one on the left, but not too bad. Nothing to worry about. Uh, got your standard butterfly joint in there and uh, bicep swivel and these don't get in the way. They just pull that out to get his arms to go up. Uh, as far as right there, so. Um, so, but yeah, this guy is pretty nice. Uh, like I said, once I got the figure in hand, it just makes me appreciate the design more. Um, I just uh, like I said, the suit, the show. I wish the suit. I, I was wishing it was a little bit greener. And once I got it in the hand. Uh, Appreciate it more, but it's supposed to have some other kind of gimmick where I don't have black lights, but it's supposed to actually glow in the dark uh, under black lights. It glows, so that's if you've seen the show, you know what I'm talking about. So, but uh, it, this has been my look at this figure. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, stay tuned, got more 
real stone getting back into the group uh, so thanks to all the subscribers if you haven't hit the like and subscribe and stay tuned and till next time don't support scalpers